So this is a another classic anti-SJW from back in the day. Bearing. I remember bearing for essentially just throwing up a video of a feminist and just, you know, calling them rude words. You know, he was, he was like typical of like the bedroom feminist type content where, where he just finds some random feminist person making videos in their bedroom and just like throw them up and mock them. So let's uh let's give this a little watch. Cartoons get super woke. I can't I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna have to say to this. I remember when Sean put him in one of his videos and just played a clip of him and he was literally just insulting the person he was covering and he was like, Well, what do I say to that? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Little disclaimer. I love the fact that they've got to put, Look every I love the fact they've got to put like a disclaimer, like What's this about? Viewers of the video are actively discouraged from engaging in harassment and abusive behaviour toward other individuals. I, I just love that little line. Like, you know your audience is so toxic, you've got to tell them not to go and harass someone. In like a statement. Yeah, li literal, literal just ad hominems. I mean actual ad hominems, not... Not the meme version where, but literally just like purely, you're wrong because you're dumb. You're wrong because you're dumb, mate. Or whatever. Look, every motherfucker's talking about this, but I just had to jump on the train. Because it's so absurd that it almost beggars belief. The Simpsons stop using white actors to voice non-white characters. The move comes amid widespread oh, reckoning this. for American pop culture, following mass protests after George Floyd's death. Oh my god. I mean, a lot of people have pointed this out, but who exactly are the white characters on The Simpsons? They're all fucking yellow. Isn't that racist towards Asians? Is me asking that question yeah. racist? No one fucking bit. knows anymore. But we'll be asking some deep and meaningful questions right after this 30 second sponsor. With a lot of the world's workforce now based at home, VPN security is an... How does this dude get sponsors still? I suppose his channel still gets a lot of views. I wonder what sort of company would be willing to, to advertise with someone like Bering. Absolute must. And in terms of functionality anyway, listen, and value come on, for money, you know what it means. It's, it's time for a little counter shield. shield. It's time, people. It's time to contribute to the Chud News Network, okay? Virtual Shield. Don't, don't, don't buy that nonsense. Subscribe to me on on for for emotes and ad free viewing, or chuck a couple of dollars to me. Make the robot lady say a funny thing, okay? Come on. You don't want to do that. Waste waste of money, if anything. I don't have a, I don't have sponsors. Anyway, ending the on. use of white actors to voice characters of color, the show's producers have said. Moving forward, the Simpsons will no longer have white actors voice non-white characters. They said in a statement on Friday. The um, I think you know, like it's it's not like I heard this news and I was like, yes, excellent. Oh hey, True Leveler, thanks so much for the uh, the sub, appreciate it. You have a lot of sponsors. Yeah, basically my viewers are my sponsors. Okay. When you sub, you're basically sponsoring me. Um, yeah, when I saw it, I, I wasn't like, oh, yes, excellent. What what the left have been pushing for for so long. The Simpsons are not going to have white people voicing the characters of people that aren't white. Excellent. We finally achieved true communism, as stated by Karl Marx in chapter 69, page 420 of Das Kapital. Um but by the same token, you know, it's it's kind of like uh, I got my first paycheck. You content gave me something to listen, so enjoy. Thank you very much, True Level. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I just I just kind of like it, it's like it kind of makes sense, I guess. Like it would makes it makes sense to have someone that is the race of the character being portrayed. <laughs> race realist rhinoceros. These are so good. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I just I just kind of like. It's like, yeah, it kind of makes sense, but there wasn't like this push for that. I feel like kind of what happened with this stuff is these companies and, and these businesses, the Simpsons, whatever, 
they were looking at what was happening and they were like, oh damn, people are pretty mad about stuff that's going on right now. We we need to uh, make sure that like we're not doing anything that looks egregious from the outside. So quickly, we need to clean house. Sorry, white actors, you can't do the black voices anymore. Aunt Jemima, get her off the packaging right now. Etc, etc, etc. So it, it was just people desperately pa trying to pander to this growing movement that was occurring. And, and realistically, like Black Lives Matter, it's not like Black Lives Matter was like, yeah, we need to make, make sure that the Simpsons are voiced by the correct races. It was, it was more so, you know, they, they're concerned with police brutality. They're concerned generally with big issues at, at the high level. This is just like kind of pandering. But in any case, I'm sure he's going to paint it as the woke leftists made this happen. I don't know. We'll see. Statement did not elaborate, but the move follows years of public pressure about the Fox television show's Indian convenience store character Apu, who has been voiced by Hank Azaria. Azaria has also voiced the Simpsons character of black police officer Lou and the Mexican-American Bumblebee Man. The white actor Harry Shearer played Dr. Hibbert, who is black. Friday's statement did not say whether Apu or the other characters would remain on the series. Bumbling Homer Simpson, housewife Marge, troublemaker Bart, prodigy Lisa and baby Maggie Boring. have captured the changing face of America for more than 30 years the in the longest running scripted show on US television. Oh, okay, thanks for that. We didn't know that. Friday's announcement comes amid a widespread reckoning for US pop culture about racism following mass protests this month over the killings of but black... It, it was a, the thing is, it was a self... It was a self-imposed reckoning. It, they, they did this to themselves. No one was asking for Aunt Jemima to be removed from the pancake package. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I mean, the thing is with Apu is it was a massive mockery of... Like, like for example, there was, like, what he would, like, have out-of-date out stuff that he was trying to sell. And, and there was this, like, he was kind of portrayed as a shifty shopkeeper that was trying to, like, pull the wool over the eyes of his customers and stuff like that. But, yeah, in any case, like... The point I'm making is it wasn't like this was a major focus of anyone. It was more so a case of they thought, damn, this is a bad look. We better change it, right? Like Americans by police that began following the death of George Floyd. Other white actors, including Mike Henry of animated series Family Guy and Kristen Bell of Central Park, have also said they will no longer voice characters of colour. It's been an honour to play Cleveland on Family Guy for 20 years. I love this character, but persons of colour should play characters of colour. Therefore, I will be stepping down from the role, Henry said on Twitter on Friday. In The Simpsons, Apu's first appearance came on a season one episode called The Telltale Head and uses the catchphrase, thank you, come again. Criticism of the character heightened in 2017. With the release of a documentary by the comedian Harry Kondabulu, oh, the problem with Apu, Kondabulu argued that Apu's character presented a negative stereotype. He's literally just reading this article. Like, I could do this myself. Like, I know they all do this, but... People from South Asia. While The Simpsons' first response to the controversy was widely criticised, Azaria swiftly expressed willingness to step down from the controversial role. I think the most important thing is to listen to Indian people and their experience with it, he told Stephen Colbert on The Late Show. So I recently joined Parlour, which is good, it's just like... Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Oh, I can get a cheap laugh here from my uh, definitely not racist audience by lightly mocking the name of this person and make, make it sound like it's super difficult to pronounce. Is this another shill? It could well be. They've been banging on about Uncle Ben too. Craigie flat out lied and said Uncle Ben was a rice cook and entrepreneur. Yeah, Uncle Ben's a fictional character. I've known that, I've, you know. Yeah, sure. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with with this change. What What frustrates me though, is it took like someone getting murdered and this mass movement to occur for them to be like, oh, yikes. Maybe maybe we better reconsider this, you know? Twitter without the horrific amounts of censorship. And I posed this question. The Simpsons, et, et, have a problem with white people acting as black people. I wonder what they think of Rachel Dolezal or Sean King. Would they have the same problem with, brace yourself, men acting as women? Because I thought that was super transphobic. I don't know, just a thought. So let's see what my new... The level of brain worms we're dealing with here. Yikes. This is the, the these are the high level ideas that you're missing out on by not being on parlor. 
Yeah, yeah, vaguely gesturing at hypocrisy and name dropping a few of their faves. Rachel, Rachel, what's her name? Rachel Dol Dolizes. Isn't isn't she? She's like really old news. She she like she's so irrelevant now. Like isn't isn't like the profile picture of Stupid Poll on Reddit still her? Even though like she's an she's like an ancient meme at this point. But yeah, it's kind of su such an old meme. Is it TOS to get parlor on stream or too much hate speech? Big. I don't know, just a thought. So let's see what my new parlor buddies thought. Not having it says, the moment Disney took over Fox, it was all going to what shit. They've content? just done the same to Family Guy. Yeah, yeah, apparently the guy who voices Cleveland Brown just quit for the same reasons. Fucking bullshit. LT9000 says, what about Nancy Cartwright voicing Bart Simpson? Well, I'd say that's pure transphobia, like I just pointed out. I mean, chicks can't play dudes, dudes can't play chicks, can they? Freedom4545 says, you are not allowed to say that. Freedom4545. These absolute titans of logic over at Parlour. That also, you don't believe in science and Abraham Lincoln must come down for freeing slaves. It's this new woke world we live in, isn't it? They tore down George Washington. They tore down fucking Thomas Jefferson. They want to tear down Abraham Lincoln, who freed the slaves. That's fucking ridiculous. They tore down fucking what's-his-face, Winston Churchill in Bristol. The guy who led the charge against the Nazis, for fuck's sake. I thought they did... Oh, my God. The... <laughs> Everyone... People know this one fact about Winston Churchill, and they think that's it. They think Winston Churchill just grew out of the ground to defeat Adolf Hitler, and then he just disappeared forever. And that was the only thing that he did in his entire career. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait hang on. What did he say? Hang on, wait. Let me go back. Tore down George Washington. They tore down fucking Thomas Jefferson. They want to tear down Abraham Lincoln, who freed the slaves. That's fucking ridiculous. They tore down fucking what's his face, Winston Churchill in Bristol. Oh the guy my who God. led the charge against the Winston Churchill in Bristol. It wasn't Winston Churchill. He hasn't done the most basic research on this point. What a complete fucking moron this guy is. <laughs> He's not done the most simplistic research. It was <laughs> it was Edward Colston who was a slave trader that was torn down in Bristol. Incredible. Not even done the most basic level of research into this. Amazing. Oh god, I love it. I love how misinformed these people are. Always the same. They've been like this for years. They don't even know what they're talking about. That is classic. That is a classic meme right there. What's his face? Winston Churchill. They tore down that that, stu that statue of what's his face uh, in Bristol. Winston Churchill. <laughs> oh, incredible! Do you know Google searching's free? He wouldn't have even need, he wouldn't have even needed to pay any money for this. He could have literally just done a little bit of just the tiniest bit of research to get his facts straight. Love it. Oh, that was a classic. I enjoyed that. Nazis for fuck's sake. I thought they didn't like Nazis. Uh, Daniel B says, I am a black Caucasian with multiple personality disorders and all my separate selves cannot be in the same room with each other at the same time. I am a racist bigot who is being misgendered by my other white slash black self and feel as my life is unhappy slash not bad slash terrible. Thanks for listening, Mr. Baring. This is a terribly scripted dialogue made worse by my two-year-old Samsung phone. Love the channel. Uh, I love you too, Daniel. Thanks for commenting. Um, and uh, thanks to all the other stuff. Shitali. Homer should be voiced by a fat person. Barney should be voiced by an overweight alcoholic. Dibs on that job. And groundskeeper Willie should be by a Scottish actor. Anybody else? Well I mean, the first two aren't even like immutable characteristics. <laughs> Incredible. These people are always alcoholics. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this dude still got so many views. Fair play to fair play to him. Pumping out the same old garbage he has for years. Good stuff. Ilias, I'm not gonna debate you on my stream. <laughs> what do you want to debate about? 
Well, I think there's uh, there's Dr. Nick. You know, hi, everybody. Or is he some sort of South American? I'm not sure. I think he's Asian. He should definitely be played by an Asian, though, or whatever sort of foreigner he is. Definitely. Sugar Tits Bear says, Can you please mow the lawn, you lazy cunt? That's a good point, Sugar Tits. That's a good point. Uh, oh, that's his, um, that's his missus. That's his partner. His girlfriend or whatever. <sighs> Incredible. Uh, but we're sort of tackling racism here, so just um, check your privilege. Uh, there's more important issues than the fucking lawn. Why don't you mow the lawn? Snargle says white chicks, and that's a fucking good point. You know, I love the movie White Chicks, but it is kind of problematic if we're going to set these new ground rules, right? How are we listen to a little bit of music? <laughs> How did you know? I love this song! Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces fast, and I'm homebound. I don't want to see white chicks get cancelled. I think I might actually watch it tonight. It's a fucking great movie. But I can just see how they'd come out and defend it. It'd have something to do with systemic institutional oppression of institutional systematic systems of oppressional white institutes. And that's why it's okay for a black person to do I mean, white... He, he got the most basic fact wrong about what happened in the UK with the statues. So anything else from there, forget about it. Yeah, Terry Terry Crews is pretty. Uh... Well, the, hasn't Terry Crews been in some hot water recently? I don't really know much about the Terry Crews stuff. It seemed a bit ridiculous to me. Like I don't know. Didn't he just say some like milk toast liberal type takes about Black Lives Matter or something? Anyway, imagine you just think you can't understand basic concepts like institutional racism as an argument. Yeah, they do. That's what they do. They just, uh, they don't understand something. Oh, really, Douglas? Okay, yeah, yeah. I can see why I got some criticisms for that, I guess. We'll never understand why someone would form their political opinions based on cringe compilations of people acting bizarrely by almost everyone's standards. Only way it could be done is if you literally never got out. Yeah. Anyway, come on, let's get through this, this video. I'm, I'm losing brain cells watching this. White face, and it's not okay for a white person to do blackface. Something like that. And I need you. And I miss you. And now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Do you think time would pass me by? Cause you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just sing you tonight. And then I was thinking about Robert Downey Jr.'s character in Tropic Thunder. There were times when I was doing Jack that I actually felt... Yeah, that got enormous amounts of critique at the time, the blackface thing. Retarded. Like, really retarded. I mean, I brushed my teeth retarded. I rode bus retarded. Damn. In a weird way, I had to sort of just free myself up to believe that it was okay to be stupid or dumb. To be a moron. Yeah. To be moronic. Exactly. To be a moron. An imbecile. Yeah. Not the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived. When I was playing the character. When you was the character. Yeah, yeah I mean, as Jack. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Jack. Stupid ass Jack. I mean, th this got critiqued as well. I don't know if you know about this, but I looked into this uh, a little while ago. And, and there was actually, like, I didn't realise this. At the time, there were protests um, from uh, people who like w w were concerned about, like, the ableism that was being in the film. There was like protests outside cinemas and stuff about it. <laughs> and like the writers just ignored it and were like, yeah, we're just going to do what we want anyway. <laughs> Here's a white guy with blackface on. Not that I give a fuck. But to the outraged woke brigade, would it make a difference that this is actually a white guy playing a white guy wearing blackface? I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What the hell was that? See you in the next one. Bye. That's so cringy. The outro is bad, yeah. But yeah, um, Tropic Thunder was was actually critiqued, uh, you know, and, and there was protests about it and stuff at the time. So, um, yeah, I think I think like the blackface in Tropic Thunder, it, it, you know, the idea was it was a white actor playing a white actor who was a method actor who was playing blackface. But some some pe people still argue to this day about that. But in any case. <laughs> just I just love them the complete lack of the most basic research in that video to the point that he got it totally wrong and thought that a Winston Churchill statue had been torn down when it hasn't at all.